tell me what I happened? I witnessed and tried to rescue. I did rescue one dog, but um, came across the, the scene, the smoke pouring out, and me being a former firefighter, I knew exactly what was going on. Just traveling down college, just heading heading west on college. And then whenever you saw, you saw what was going on, what happened? What you Immediately uh, turned on this road and parked in front of the house, and um, neighbors were standing on the porch. I said, did you call 911? They said, no. I said, I called 911 and a few other choice words. And uh, I immediately ran to the front door, kicked in the front door, and made my way in. Um, could not make it past the second room. Um, I had about three foot visibility. Uh, hollering, whoever's in the house, uh, let me know. The uh, house on fire, and, you know, every other word in the book. And um, then came out, went to the back door, and uh, uh, tried kicking in the back door. Back door wouldn't budge, and it had an oval glass, double pane security window. And I, I took that wind out with a crawfish pot that was on the porch and breached in there, undid the door. At that time, I only had about one foot visibility down low, so I went to my belly and crawled in there by eight feet, and there was a little dog. I got that dog, rescued the dog, got that out, and uh, handed it off to, uh, to some Mexicans on the back porch, and then the dog leaped out of her hands. And then I went back in the house, couldn't take the heat, and I came back out. Um, then came out to the road, cleared cars out of the road because I knew we had to get the trucks in here. The trucks came up and I helped pull the hose lines and and um, went from there. And um, so did it, did all we could. Now, I did all I could. Now I cannot confirm it, but uh, possibly the way I hear. There was a victim in the house, but I can't confirm it. So now I'm, I'm going to be haunted the rest of my life with this one. That's it.